Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a sliding reveal infographic. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is come over to elements and we're going to get us a square. You can use the regular square or a rounded square to start. It doesn't really matter. So you want to pick out the length you're going to use. We're going to make it as long as you want it and then how wide you want it. Then we're going to go up here, even if you use the rounded corners. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to hit the border style and we're going to go to corner rounding. I use somewhere in the 40s for this. So we'll say like 43. All right. So that's what we want right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this for the moment and then I'm going to bring it up here. So now we're going to pick out our color we want for this. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hit here and we want to hit the gradient. So now let's go and pick our color. Let's do, I'm going to use the dropper right here. Let's see, can I get a smidge of that pink? So we can do a pink one. We're going to do a pink one. So what I want now is I want three pinks. I want to get rid of these two colors right here. And then what I want to do now is I want a white. So I'm going to go and get a white. And then with that, I'm going to make the white to the second position. So I'm going to have pink, white, pink, and pink. And then I'm going to go down to style number two. So that makes our two. So the reason I want to keep this right here is now what I want to do with this is I want to take it and make it go small to do my ends. So what I'm going to do is I get the ends so that's trying to roll behind. So what I want to do is put that over like so. And then I'm going to put it on my end. And then I'm going to duplicate that and put that on my end on this one. So we're creating the tube right now. So the next step after we create the tube is going and turning these all black. So we want to change the color to black here. We're going to change this one to black. And then we're going to change the background to black. And then you can see if you need to line them up a little bit because you can see just a hair bit of a shadow. So what you want to do is like take your little arrow key and try to get the shadow off. A little bit of edge right there and get that edge off. So now what you have is something that looks like this. So this is going to be your top piece. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go and remove the background. So I'm going to go to my outsourced background remover and I'll be back with the finished product. All right. So now I've uploaded my background removed image. I am going to tighten this thing up like so. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I can start working on it so I can see it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get my little edges because that's what I did as a guide. So I'll control C. I just need one. And I want to come over here and I am going to control V that. So now what you want to do is line these up with this right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it smaller and try to fit it in the hole as best as possible. And if you want it more round, you can go ahead and do that. But let's go and insert the color in here first. So we're going to go to our colors over here. And what we want to do is go in here, click gradient. What I want to do first of all is I want to go and color pick. Oh, let's do it an easy way. Hold on. So let's go in here, pick our color. And this was our original color here. So let's click that. And then what we want to do now is put the gradient color. Let's do gradient and it'll kind of do a dark color. But take this one. Let's color pick this like so. And then let's make it a little bit darker like so. You're going to see if you can get that edge off just a smidge. This is like the hardest part. But once you get one, then you can just duplicate and change colors. So that's just the easy part for that. So get your thing. So we can go over here too. And let's go on here. Maybe let's make it a little more round. I want it a little more round. Make it a little more tuby. And maybe tighten it up a little bit. And tighten it up here. So let's see what it looks like here. Let's take our arrow keys. And our control. And bump it in a little bit. Kind of like that. It looks pretty good. So let's duplicate that. And then we're going to stick it on this side like so. And then we're going to just flip it around because we want that dark color on the inside. And that's your first tube. Now for changing colors with this, 
I think this one needs to go in a little bit smidgy more. There you go. We can take this one and bump it in just a smidge more. All right, now we got our tube done. I'm going to move this around. Um, if you need to, you can make it smaller, make it bigger. But we're just going to keep it big right now because we're working on it and y'all can see. So let me move that down in the center for you guys. So now that we have our tube built out, the next thing you want to do is you go to elements and you're going to get you another square. We're going to change that white because that's going to be our paper. And what you want to do with your paper here. And I'm going to show you just for like a two second thing, I'm going to duplicate this real quick. So because this is a photo now, you're going to be limited on your color. So you're going to either have to make it prior or post, but let me show you a quick way to get like some cool colors. So just go into color. Where's my color mix? Oh, what are you being so small for? Uh, color mix. Hello. Where are you? There you are. So like you can go get and make it like a metallic green. And then you just use your color picker to change the edges here or blue or purple or yellow. And then sometimes like when you apply a color mix here and then you go and go back into color mix, it'll give you another set of colors because it's going off of the yellow color to make the color mix. So you can also get like different types of colors. So you get another yellow, a different kind of blue, or different kind of red. So you can just change it with color mix and then use your color picker on the darkest one and pick your color for here and then go a little bit darker and make that one. So that's an easy way to change the colors. So that's your little tidbit for that. So we're just like ixnay this right here, delete, and trash that. And all right, back to the programming. So what you want to do is kind of get this to where it looks like it's on like a flat edge here. So you want to kind of bump that in. See how you can see like that flat edge right there. So you want to make that fit that flat edge like so. So it kind of looks natural in there. And then you want to duplicate that and bring that over to the other side like so. And because if you're moving stuff, you cannot use gradients, which if gradients were here, it would be so much easier to make like a shadow on the paper part, but you can't. So if you want shadows, I just duplicate it, uh, I take it, I turn it black, you can turn it black, gray, whatever, and then I'm going to just do the transparency down like so, and then um, put your position the way you want it there, uh, move it behind it, behind your piece of paper, and then do the same on the other side, however you want that piece of paper like so. I don't know why I've got that. This piece of paper over here is so sloppy. Hold on. Let's delete this one. I think I changed the sizing on this one. So let's just move that over here to get the right size. I might, I might not have enough forgot. So that's just, you can make that that way. And you don't want to put any gradient in this one either, because when you go in, you might want to make it a little bit smaller. If it's going over here, you just put it into the, the hole. And the other thing you can do for shading, uh, I went in here and I used my little black gradient rectangle. And what I did with that is turn it sideways like so. And I just put it like kind of right here. Just a little bit. And I just did it on the paper. And then I turned the transparency down just to give it a little bit of depth right there. And then you'll just duplicate that and put it on the other side like so. And spin it around, or you can do the flip Oop. and just put it right there over the top of the paper, like so. And then, oh, and bump that in a little bit. Me and my arrow case, okay. And that'll give you just a little bit of depth right there inside the tube. So now that we have that all set up, we're going to get us a little bit of text. Let's go in here and find our text. Uh, let's add a subheading. Let's make it get kind of small and let's put, come on, put a space here in our here. And we're going to go over and see where we want the placement for it. And then what we're going to do is go over here and duplicate it. And then you're going to put your next da -da -da -da, space da -da -da -da, enter da -da -da -da, over on here. So that's going to be our two text. 
what I want to do is put that kind of in the middle like so for now and then what we're going to do in position is go and it needs to be it needs to be on top of the paper underneath the shadows so we need to put that there and that what we need to do with this is we need to take this and put it over top of these and then as you can see when i do that my shadows are kind of in the way so what i want to do now is bump them over like so and kind of get them where they need to be all right now that we got those out of the way oh they look like they could go a couple more bumps bump 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 all right now that we have it now we start animating so we got everything set up now we can get rid of this page goodbye bye bye delete the page so now what i do is either get them you can leave them like here or prep them like you want to so i want them small in here so what you're going to do is you're going to take both of these you're going to take your shadow with you come on one on a trip little shadow and you're going to take this one and you're going to go in like so you can go put them in as far in as you want or as far out as you want it's all up to you and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the page and then once we duplicate the page what we're going to do is say i want this one to come out all right see it's hitting that so what i need is my piece of paper and i'm going to go and then what i want to do is because i want this to come out on this side i'm going to go bam like so and then to see that i'm going to put my match and move in between and then i'm going to adjust the duration like so and then you can shorten these up if you want to and then we're going to watch it go and it's going to go out like so and then what you want to do is duplicate the page again say i want the next side to come out Oh, I forgot to do my shadow oh, oh, oh. when I when I did my thing. So, all right, hold on. Position. Where's my shadow for that? Where's my shadow? There it is. So th when you want that to come out, you want your shadow to come out too. Whoopsie. Okay. So now if you see it, the whole thing comes out to shadow and all. Okay. <laughs> Oops, y'all. Sorry. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side with the other slide and Come on, give me what I want. Give me what I want. I want this piece of paper. We're going to bump that out like so. I'm going to grab my shadow that goes with it. And I'm going to bump my shadow out as far as it, I want it to go. I want it just a little smidge outward. It's a little too far, but there we go. And then I'm going to grab the text that I want to come out. And I'm going to put that there. So this the match and move did not go with that. So let's put some match and move in there. And let's shorten this one up a little bit and let's play and see what we got going on here. So we got one coming out, you got two coming out, and that's how that goes. And you can do it in any order. You can keep them out, you can make a move back in. Um, let's see, we'll duplicate the first one. Let's duplicate the first slide and then let's move it over to the end. Oh, why won't my match and move move with this? This is being a blue. All right, so let's watch the whole thing. So we'll go. One comes out, two comes out, and then they can go back in. And to do the side to side, what we're gonna do, let's do the side to side real quick before I tell y'all bye. So we're gonna pull, let's start off with this one. Let's just move this here. We'll put a little, uh, and then we have this one. So we'll duplicate this one right side like so and then what you want to do is you want to take this one back in like so take your words and put them back behind take your shadow with you and then what you want to do is let's go in position because that shadow is in the way we want to get not that piece that's this piece and then you want to pull that out like so you want to pull out the shadow that goes with it like so i'm just doing this very fast so it's not very precise uh, for the shadows and everything because and now we're gonna look and, and you're gonna see it shrink shrink back up and then if you want to 
like do something where it's like wiggly wiggly back and forth here come on go in here and then you can do the back and forth back and forth oh let's see what we got let's see what we got going on here because i think i've I've mixed up so many things so that's like coming out both sides that one's going back in that one's going to one side that's going to the other side so that's how you do the drag across and thank you for sticking with me this one was kind of a long one because it's kind of a little bit hard to set this one up so i appreciate it and if you skipped around i hope you skipped around all the good parts and i love you guys and i will see you on the next one peace i love you bye